thought we were uh, prepared for a good side, and I thought we were pretty well prepared. And I think that, uh, you know, the, the, the good news about this team, much like Delaware State, is we realized uh, 10, 12 minutes into the game um, that we were up for the task, and that um, if we were not at least level, we were the better team. Uh, so, and that's good. You, you never know as a, as a young team, you know, they beat us 5-1 last year handedly. Uh, you know, so to come out and, and have a response like we had this year, albeit, uh, you know, a myriad of injuries was quite good. Finishing is both art and science. And, you know, Teo Chianisi, uh, her second goal in two games, uh, she's very tidy in the box, very clean touch, uh, and, and she just doesn't, um, you know, get nervous in that 1v1 situation. So we knew we were in a good spot uh, when she had the ball and, and, and she walked it in. And as I said, it was a good, good start to the game. Yeah, you know, I, I think that we, we talk about, um, you know, controlling our own destiny and, and, and I am, you know, one of the last people that want to point the fingers, you know, but uh, we had more corners today, we had more shots uh, and, and, you know, we, we just struggled today uh, with some of the calls or non-calls, uh, didn't go our way and, and it created a, more work to, to be done. However, uh, a mark of a young team that's naive, when you're up 1-0 and we generate one, two, three opportunities and we, and we don't finish, then we let a team hang around. And so had we scored two, three goals, uh, it would have been a different result. And we have to take ownership of that uh, and make sure that when we do have those opportunities, we capitalize on a day like this where our opponent is going to be uh, you know, of a good level, uh, the, the heat is gonna be a factor. Uh, you, you just can't leave a lot for you to do at the end of the game.